Hey friends, welcome to Minimalese. My name is Becky Truda and on this channel, I talk about decluttering and minimizing and living your best life. So today is day six of 12. We are decluttering my desk and I will start by prefacing that I do not work from home. I am a teacher. I do my editing and my scheduling and some paperwork for school here at my desk area, but I do not have everything that you would need to actually work from home. So I will start with that. But I have a little bit of decluttering I wanna do, and then I'm just gonna walk you through the things that I keep on my desk. If you enjoy decluttering and minimizing your life, then please remember to hit that subscribe button. This is a very special month to be joining this YouTube channel because this is the first time that I've ever done a marathon, and I'm doing this marathon 12 days of decluttering with my friend Jen. She's doing it at the same time, and her YouTube channel is called Happily Organized Chaos. So if you wanna check that out, her links are in the description below. All right, friends, so this is my desk right now. There's a few things that are out that shouldn't be and a few things that I know I need to recycle. I also have um, one sweatshirt that I was wearing yesterday that I need to hang up. But really, generally, I will keep a notebook here. I keep my books here and some of my work that I use for YouTube and then some pens and pencils. I also keep my agenda that just tells me the things that I'm working on. But everything else um, is out of place or needs to be recycled. So lately I've been making a lot of videos, so this area has gotten a little more messy than it generally would be, but there are a few things out that um, I know I need to put away or declutter. So starting over here in the corner, here's some sentimental items I took out when I did my video um, about decluttering papers. So if you want to check that out, I'll link that video below. But here is some sentimental pictures that I need to put away for the day that I do go through them and that's gonna be day 12. So in a couple days away from now, I'm gonna go through these and just pick out the ones I really enjoy. And then here is my agenda. I generally do keep this here and so I'm gonna leave that on my desk. I generally do always keep on my desk so I have a pad of paper from things that I'm working on for YouTube and then I have my agenda which I fill up with my ideas for YouTube and for work and then I keep just my favorite books out and accessible and then I have a few pens this is my microphone um, that I use when I'm making my YouTube channel sometimes um, I might end up decluttering that soon and getting a better one just because I don't use it very often because it's not that high quality. And then this is actually a chair from our dining room set. And I just use that. It's comfortable enough for the amount of time that I do spend in here. This chair, luckily enough, fits the purpose for me right now because I am not a full-time YouTuber. I do not spend all my time making videos. I have some cords down there. That's my computer charger. And I'd like to get a little basket in the corner down there at some point to put them in and kind of hide them. I just haven't gotten there yet. But this is just my general desk setup now that I've decluttered it. I try not to get too many um, knickknacks or anything to put on my desk. I used to always have pictures and plants. 
but I have found that I just like to keep it nice and simple and it doesn't distract me while I'm trying to work. Real quick, these are the things that I need to get rid of that were on my desk. So I'm going to be saving these for our day 12 sentimental day for decluttering. And so I'm gonna put these away um, with my other sentimental items downstairs. This hat is a gift. Um, so I'm going to put that in the other room with the other gifts that I have for Christmas. And then here are some things that I need to recycle. So just some paperwork. And then this actually fell off of my stand and right now it won't go back on so I'm just gonna get rid of it because the stand is still working right now so I'm gonna continue to use that but this part is kind of useless right now hey y'all thank you so much for watching I know this was a very short video but really there's not a lot that I keep on my desk area so there was a few things that I needed to declutter but it didn't take me a lot of time at all and hopefully that's kind of inspiring if you are someone that works from a desk keeping it very simple, keeping it as clear as possible and without a lot of knickknacks and things like that. For me, keeping my desk very simple has helped me for when I do need to sit down and do work. I can focus and not be distracted by other things around me because when I do sit down to edit YouTube channel videos or I sit down to do stuff for my job as a teacher, I don't wanna be distracted by a lot of other things. I wanna get done what I need to get done and get back to my family. So I hope this has been a little inspirational for you. And remember that this is a 12 day process. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing another decluttering video, which is doing, which is dealing with all of my cleaning supplies. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and come back for tomorrow.